मैं गुरुदेव आर आई नवदीप धाम रेनाउंसिंग इस फैमिली एज वी हर्ड श्री भक्ति विदान बाबुल गोस्वे महाराज वो सेंट बाई परम गुरुदेव टू गो टू स्टेशन नवदीप रेलवे स्टेशन एंड श्री बाबुल गोस्वे महाराज विद अ लाल टाइम वॉज कॉलिंग आउट फूल तिहारी जी तिहारी जी सर ने वो तिवारी तिवारी मीन्स तिवारी मीन्स त्रिवेदी लाइक इन ब्राह्मण्स इन इंडिया ये सिस्टम ऑफ चतुर्वेदी मीन्स द नॉर ऑफ द फोर वेदर्स त्रिवेदीज दो नॉर ऑफ थ्री वेदर्स एंड द्विवेदी हु नोज टू वेदर्स सो बिकॉज ऑफ त्रिवेदी द शॉर्ट फॉर्म इज तिवारी सो श्री बाबुल को सही महाराज कॉलिंग आउट तिहारी जी तिहारी जी एंड श्री गुरुदेव हर हिज नेम एंड ही सेड आर तिवारी बट हाउ परम गुरुदेव हाउ हिज गुरु महाराज केम टू नो श्री बाबुल को सही महाराज दैट आई डोंट नो ही जस्ट ही जस्ट टोल्ड मी टू गेट यू सो गुरुदेव सेड व्हेन आई अराइव्ड देयर आई वाज सरप्राइज हाउ my guru maharaj shri bhakti pragyan kesho gose maharaj how he came to know that i am coming in this train <coughs> and then param guru dev shri bhakti pragyan kesho gose maharaj he introduced our shila guru dev to bhakti ram tripro gose maharaj who was preaching his name was shri radha nath brahmachari who was preaching and gurudev was very new so shri tripro gosai maharaj trained him in so many arts i am not saying this gurudev used to tell us this and used to take care of gurudev used to say tripro maharaj was the one because baun gosai maharaj was very introvert and he had so many other duties to fulfill but it was tripro from maharaj who became very friendly with gurudev mm-hmm. and he learned so much from tripro gosai maharaj so that's why gurudev said is not only my shiksha guru but he was my guardian and we heard this beautiful story param gurudev <coughs> was sitting and one of his godfather said oh you have so much area here left With no garden, no flowers. So better if you put some flowers there. A beautiful garden. Param Guru they said, I already have beautiful flowers. And he said, No, I don't see any plant here. No flowers. But Param Guru they said, I have these three beautiful flowers. Ordinary flower, the fragrance of ordinary flower goes to few meters. for the fragrance of this this param guru dev's prediction the fragrance of this three beautiful flower will spread out to the entire world in one day everyone will see this among these three flowers shri bhakti ram tripura maharaj ji who fearlessly and boldly was speaking on sambandha and shri bhakti ram bhavan gosai maharaj we used to see them on dais in the parikrama three <laughs> the full set and powerful acharyas shri bhavan gosai maharaj ji establishing abideha and gurudev speaking about more about prayojan we saw in abdi parikrama how shri gurudev used to hold the assemblies and he used to offer the mic to shridikram gosai maharaj first to speak <coughs> and shridikram maharaj he always speaking especially this bhajan he just saying amar jeevan sada paame paape ratha nahi ko punner lesh ko maharaj used to like this bhajan and as i said for us this is a reality our life is full of sins there's no pious deeds all all the time 
we are indulged in sinful activities and offenses. <clears throat> and my life is there to give pain and troubles to others, not to make anyone happy. And when I see someone is suffering, it gives joy to my heart. That's, that's another mean, meaning of the word envious. This is called jealousy. Whereas Srimad Bhagavatam, which describe Bhagavad Dharma is for those who are Nimma Saranam Satam. Second verse from Bhagavatam. Dharma Prochit Kaita Atra Parma Nimma Saranam Satam. Vedyam Vastam Atra Vastu Shivadam Tap Trayan Bhulanam. Shimad Bhagavat Mahamuni Krite Kemva Paridishwara Sadda Hridya Vruddhi Kritibi Shushumya Darshana Shimad Bhagavatam, right in the beginning, second verse, invocation. Describe this. Bhagavat is for those who are Nirmasaranam Satam. Satam means sadhus. And Nirmasar means those who have no, huh? no envious. No, yes. And it is so much in us. Moment we see someone is progressing, we want to pull, pull the neck down. How he can speak better than me? How he can sing better than me? How he is doing better than me? Is this his sadhu nature? Gurudev used to say, this is not even human nature. Mm -hmm. This is animal nature. Mm -hmm. Like in India, we have street dogs. And if you see, if you stay in Vrindavan, or any city, very common nature in dogs. Mm -hmm. You know, like in India, we have so many streets. So one street has a bunch of dogs, like 10, 12. Mm -hmm. If a dog from other street enter in, this, in their territory, they all start barking and want to attack him or to chase him away. How dare you came in my territory? This animal nature, the dog nature. How dare you enter in my territory? <coughs> Similar with monkeys, we saw in Mumbai. This animal nature. Even human nature is not like that. But to a subtle sense, yes, in human nature is also like <clears throat> we have envious mood, we go through jealousy. But if we consider ourselves sadhu, very honestly, straightforward, I'm just addressing myself. I want to improve. I have this limitation, I want to improve. <clears throat> if I really want to become sadhu, then there should not be any endless mood seeing someone's progression. This is supposed to be. It's not happening in me because I have to overcome that. And this is a big anartha. And all other anarthas starts from this point. If I say no, if I'm for if I'm running after name and fame adoration, then this is according to Raghunath Das Goswami, Pratishtasha Drishta Shapach Ramni Me Hidi Natet. That means name, the desire for name and fame is just like a dog eating woman dancing in the heart. And this is Raghunath Das Goswami. And according to Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Prabhupada, Pratishta Sukara Vishta. It's like a stool of a hawk. So abominable. In Vrindavan we see pigs, they eat stools. The drain. They clean Vrindavan now. They are sweepers. Even sweepers, they are sometimes useless. They don't work or function properly. Because they know they have good assistance. <laughs> <laughs> they have pigs to clean the strings, stools and all. But pigs don't eat their own stool. 
things they don't need. Sri Prabhupada said, Pratishta, adoration, is compared to as a stool of a heart. Vaishnav, they don't give any importance to that. Means satang, sadhus. They are nirmasarana. I was in Miami recently and <clears throat> I said one point. <clears throat> Narottam Thakur, his Guru Maharaj is Sri Loknath Goswami, right? Mm -hmm. But when Sri Narottam Thakur wrote bhajans, a very famous bhajan, Sri Rupa Manjari Pada, right? I want perfection at the lotus feet of Sri Rupa Manjari. By hearing this, did Loknath Goswami objected? Or he felt bad about this? Hey Narottam, you are my disciple. You are not writing my name, you don't want attachment to my lotus feet. And you want attachment to Rupa Manjari, Rupa Goswami? Who's, who is Rupa Goswami? I am your Diksha Guru. <laughs> We don't see there. Because Nirmasaranam Satam. In that domain there is no enemies. And everyone is equal. Diksha Guru and Shiksha Guru both equal. That vision is so high. The vision, the vision is so broad. It's not narrow. It's not gross. And on top of that, Narottam Thakur wrote, Kabe Loknath, oh this is too much. Kabe Loknath Sangha Laya Jave, Shri Rupa Pad Padme Mora Samarhi. You know this? When Loknath Goswami, my Diksha Guru, they take my hands in hands and offer me to Shri Rupa Goswami. That's too much, right? <laughs> Lokunak Goswami, what you saying, Narottam? You have no Nishta in me? You don't know? Guru Bhakti is the backbone, uh, Guru Nishta is the backbone of Bhakti? You have no Guru Nishta? And you want to get surrendered to Rupa Goswami, not me? That's too much. Did he ever say that? No. No. And who was Lokanath Goswami? Contemporary of Sri Rupa Goswami. <coughs> Nid Masaranam Satam. Did she, Jeev Goswami, ever objected Narottam Thakur for anything? Because Narottam Thakur learned everything in association of Jeev Goswami. And I don't think so in any of the bhajan Narottam Thakur mentioned Jeev Goswami. Maybe one or two. He's always focusing on the even object of God of Vishnu's as Rupa Manjari, the lotus feet of, attaining the lotus feet of Shri Rupa Manjari, Shri Rupa Goswami. That's the even object of all God of Vishnu's. <clears throat> so this is called Nirmasaranam Satam. Srila Bhakti Vedam Trikram Gosai Maharaj. Nirmasaranam Satam. No endless mood. Shri Bhakti Dhan Vamun Gosai Maharaj <coughs> played the role of Acharya after Paramur Dev and then Shri Guru Dev self manifest Acharya understanding time, place and circumstance the world needs him and therefore Shri Guru Dev also started this initiating and taking care of disciples of Shri Vamun Goswami Maharaj, not only him, but disciples of so many of mm -hmm. But Trikram Goswami Maharaj also played a very important role, a very important and beautiful pregnant flower whose glory spread it Ebeyash Ghushu Tribhuvan, whose glory spread it all over the world. And who spread his glory is Shri Gurudev. Because not many people knew about him. 
Not many people know about Shilthi Prabhupada Maharaj. But as a gratitude, as I said, Gurudev used to say, I learned everything from Tripra Maharaj. <coughs> He's my guardian. And that's why Gurudev said, I want Srila Bhavanu Goswami, Bhavan Maharaj and Tripra Maharaj picture on the altar everywhere in the world. And that's why we see his pictures every day. Nirmasaranam Satana. Those who are very dull mind, gross intelligence, they started feeling or speaking difference amongst these three acharyas. But there was no difference. No difference. Because they are Nirmasaranam Satana. This is how Param Gurudev was so proud of Sri Trikram Goswami Maharaj. <coughs> I have a couple of encounters, <laughs> I would say. <laughs> when I was in uh, Vishila Gurudev, we all performed in Nadir Dham Parikrama. We used to see how Trikram Maharaj, he was also participating in that Parikrama <clears throat> and I remember, I still remember in my memory that particular scene this cannot go out from my memory when the Parikrama goes to Godrum Dweep in the place of Srila Bhakti Uthakur so Gurudev and Sri Trikram Maharaji in the temple hall and thousands of devotees around them and Gurudev asked Sri Trikra Maharaj to speak on Srila Bhakti Thakur. Mm -hmm. He was a very deep thinker. He always used to be you know, very deep thinking and only speaking few words concluding, concluding words the essence of the whole uh, lecture. <clears throat> when Shri Trikram Maharaji, <clears throat> he got this mic, he paid obeisances to Bhakti Thakur by uttering his Parnam Mantra, Namo Bhakti Vinodaya, Satchidananda Namane, <clears throat> Gaur Shakti Sarupaya, Rupa Nuga Varayati. By saying this, he said, Today we all came to this transcendental spot while performing of the Dham Parikrama. <clears throat> if we, and this is how he was taking the uh, <clears throat> long breath, this Mahapurusha, this was like he was already starting, this Mahapurush great personality. If we remember his contributions, that's all. He was not able to speak up. If we go through his contributions to this world, and that was a pause, there was a pause, and he was not able to speak up. He was crying, bitterly crying, can't stop his tears. And that was his lecture about. Seeing Shri Trikram Goswami Maharaj crying and weeping, Shri Gurudev also started weeping and crying. And seeing both of them, everyone was in tears. So, there's one point that is, we are glorifying Acharya and speaking about the contribution, but with this expression of Sri Bhaktivedanta Trikram Maharaji, was not able to even speak about Sri Trikram Goswami Maharaj. That means his contribution is unparalleled. Who introduced to the entire world Gaur Dham, Gaur Nam, and Gaur Kam. 
name of Mahaprabhu, the teachings of Mahaprabhu, the birthplace of Mahaprabhu, and the instructions of Mahaprabhu. Without this Mahapurusha Samad Goswami, Saptam Goswami, the world would have been bereft of knowing about Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. <coughs> so Trikrana Goswami Maharaji was very fond of Sri Bhakti Thakur. Uh, this shows his heart so soft because when we hear, hear his Harikatha, oh, the glories of Sri Trikrana Maharaj, we hear he was very bold and like thunderbolt. But I am presenting the other part that he was so soft that he started crying and weeping by describing the not even describing but just remembering the contribution of Bhakti Thakur. But later in the evening session, Shri Gurudev again asked him to speak on Bhakti Thakur and he elaborated on that. His unparalleled contribution to this world. <clears throat> so once upon a time I was sitting with him in the, uh, behind the deities. Uh, Shilak Tikram Maharaji used to sit on that armchair and his sabak told me to fan him because he has to go for cooking. And I was fanning him. He said, may I know you? I said, Maharaj, my name is Krishna Kripalva Chari. Hmm. Narayan Maharaj disciple? I said, no. Then? I said, Shri Bhakti Pramod Guli Goswami Maharaj. Oh. Mm. <laughs> and then, two minutes pause. He start thinking. And he said, you know, your Guru Maharaj, <coughs> Your Guru Maharaj has so much respect for my Guru Maharaj. I used to, your Guru Maharaj used to take my Guru Maharaj as his Shiksha Guru. So how he related, by hearing the name of Guru Maharaj, how he related that to his Guru Maharaj, Shri Bhakti Pragyan Kesha Goswami Maharaj. This shows the absorption. Where is his absorption? Is This looks like an ordinary dealing or interaction, but no. There is a Siddhanta here. This shows absorption, how he relate everything with his Guru Maharaj. And I got this point. And while I was fanning him, he randomly called upon anyone, come here. What is your name? Western devotees. And they tell so and so. Why you are here? Maharaj, we are here to do Navdi Parikrama. Who invited you? <laughs> Say, uh, Narayan Maharaj. Okay, so now you are going to stay here? No, we have return ticket. Then he said, then he became very heavy. So you are doing Navdi Parikrama, you had darshan, and now you want to go back? Is this is a darshan? This is useless. You are not doing any parikrama. You are not done. You are not gone through any darshan. Because by seeing Navdi Dham, by having darshan of Navdi Dham, with eyes and ears, no one wants to return. And you already have return ticket. So your darshan is useless. And they were all shocked. What did he say? And after speak for like very harsh, and then in the last he used to give a very mild smile. <laughs> Don't panic. <laughs> because he is focused on the Siddhanta. <clears throat> what is the darshan about if you want to return back? Navdeep Dham is not less. And at that evening when Shri Gurudev asked this question, he raised this question, which dham is superior? Is Navdeep dham or Shri Jagannath Puri dham is superior? He called upon sannyasis. 
And Sanyasi said, Jagadan Puridham is superior. Mahaprabhu stayed 18 years, absorbed in the moods of Radha Rani. So that dham is superior. And then Gurudev said, No, Navdeep dham is superior. Why Navdeep dham is superior? Then he gave some <coughs> quotations. In our Gaur Gayatri, <coughs> the names which we chant in the Gaur Gayatri is the name, the names from Navdeep dham, not Jagannathpuri dham. Vishambharaya, Gaur, like this. Also, <coughs> in Navdeep Dham, Mahaprabhu is like Lokik Sarvandubhad Bhav, human like pastimes. There is not so much opulence there. But in Jagannath Puri Dham, he, <coughs> he showed so much opulence. So, Navdeep Dham is more sweetness. And in this way, he established many points. He established Navdeep Dham is superior than Jagannath Puri. And everyone was amazed to hear this. Wow, we never ever thought of this. How thoughtful is Guru Dev? And he extracts such subtle point. Navdeep Dham is superior. Next day, after Parikrama, when everyone came back, Rikram Maharaj the same posture sitting on his armchair, I was standing here. We called upon the body. Come here, everyone, come here. And everyone was so scared of him <laughs> coming close to him because he always <laughs> kind of like very heavy. Because he was cutting those knots in the heart. <laughs> Sambandachare. Rikram Maharaj said, So what you guys heard yesterday? Which Dham is superior? They said, Gurudev said, Nadim Dham is superior. He said, I don't believe this. <laughs> You're always taking the opposite side. <laughs> I don't believe this. But then the devotee said, but Gurudev established from Shastras. He said, well, really? Shastras? Okay, I want to ask a question. Suppose in the middle of Parikrama, if your Gurudev goes to Jagadapuri, <laughs> what are you all going to do? You stay back doing the Abdi Parikrama or you all go to Jagannath Puri? They said, of course, wherever Gurudev will go, we also follow him. <laughs> we'll go to Jagannath Puri. Then Sri said, then which Dham is superior? <laughs> Why are you staying back for Abdi Parikrama? Why are you going to Jagannath Puri? <laughs> because Gurudev is going there. Then he looked in the eyes of the devotees. That's why I don't believe Narayan Maharaj. <laughs> <laughs> Jokingly he said. Mm -hmm. And he established one thing there. Looks like he's <coughs> opposing Shala Gurudev, but he establishes his point. Mm -hmm. But in a twisting way. <laughs> he said, Jai Sthani Vaishnagan, Sai Sthan Vrindavan, Sai Sthan Anand Vishesh. That dham where Vaishnavs like Gurudev, that dham where Vaishnavs like Srila Gurudev stays, that dham is superior. So wherever your Gurudev goes, that dham is superior. Even if he goes to any other dham, he preach anywhere, that place is superior because wherever he is, he is establishing Vrindavan there. Trikramara used to establish like this. Then, another occasion, Srila uh, Gurudev was speaking Hari Katha, Sri Rupa Sanatan Gaudiyamad. And we all know his style of Hari Katha. Our aim and object is Radha Dastyam. And there were like so many devotees, 200 devotees sitting here in Hari Katha. And then he said, now it's my time. I am going to my room, but now Trikram Maharaj will speak Harikatha. And Gurudev, you know, if you go to Rupa Sanatana, what? Gurudev Bhajan put in upstairs. So everyone has followed Gurudev. <laughs> only two devotees, two or three, was only the Shri Trikram Maharaj. And Trikram Maharaj said, 
All gopis have gone. <laughs> All the gopis have gone and now sadhakas are here. <laughs> when Gurudev, he saw everyone followed him and the temple hall is empty, he just died. Go there and hear, listen Harikatha from him. Then everyone came back and three Kumaras said, oh, gopis have come. <laughs> And one, <coughs> one Mataji, she requested Tikram Maharaj, requested Tikram Maharaj, Maharaj, can you speak and elaborate on Gopi Bha? <laughs> Tikram Maharaj said, yes. I just got the news, Krishna died. She said, what? I just heard the news, Krishna died. And everyone, ha, 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 what are you saying, Maharaj? Then he started heavy. Is this is Gopi Bhav? Is this is what you are getting from your Gurudev? <laughs> Gopis when they heard Krishna had headache, they all faint. They fainted. I am saying Krishna died. There is no reaction. You are laughing. Is this is the love you have for Krishna? Is this is the Gopi Bhav you have learned? Useless. I am saying Krishna died and you all are laughing. And when gopis heard Krishna have headache, what happened to gopis? They all faint. He said, if I right away say, oh Mataji, your son died, will you laugh? What are you going to do? You sitting in Harikatha and you got a text, Oh, your son got an accident, he died. What are you going to do? Laughing and sitting there? Will there be any reaction or not? You will run to see your son. You will cry. You don't feel like eating or sleeping or drinking. You will think your life is finished because your son died. Because you are attached to your son. You have no attachment for Krishna. I am saying Krishna died and you are laughing. Is this is the attachment? Is this is the Gopi Bhav? Only hearing Gopi Bhav, Gopi Bhav will not work. You have to understand the surrender mood of the Gopis. Without caring for any Any family member, they always run after Krishna. They are attached to Krishna. You are not attached to Krishna. You are only fond of hearing. So, always stay in your adhikar, in your qualification. Don't transgress your adhikar. Don't live in a dream world. Stay in a practical world. This was Maharaj. Don't live in a dream world. Oh, by thinking of Gopi, I will become Gopi. Or by hearing or speaking about Gopi, I will become Gopi. And it's not only Shri Trikha Goswami Maharaj, even our Gurudev used to say this. Even though I am giving this higher mood, but just to encourage you all, Gurudev used to say, Encourage you all to perform very high class sadhana. Following the footsteps of the gopis. Is that easy? You have to weep in lamentation like Shad Goswamis. Even though they are witnessing, they are seeing the pastimes of Radha and Krishna, but still, how to lament? He Radhe Braja Devi Ke Chalavite He Nanda Shruna Kuta What next? O Vardana Kautva Pada Padale Kalim Divane Kuta Ghoshanda Viti Sarva Tau Braja Pure Out of wanting here and there, 
Oh Krishna, where are you? Oh Radhe, where are you? <coughs> where is that lamentation? Where is that longing? Where is that hankering? This is how Trikram Goswami Maharaji <coughs> used to teach. Be practical and stay like a sadhaka. Sadhaka means one who is always restless to achieve his or her goal. That person is called sadhak. And there is, there is no restlessness to attain our goal, then it's not even sadhak. We are right now striving to become a sadhak. We are not even sadhak yet. Sadhak means one who is always restless, restless, and restless. Yeah. And this is how Shri Maharaj used to. Cut the knot in the heart. Tato dusanga musijya sasu sajeta buddhiman santa eva chindanti mono vyaksama muktami. Tato dusanga musijya. What sadhus are they? Sadhus like Shri Trikram Goswami Maharaj. Cutting the knot from the heart. The knot which is there from so many lifetimes. And it's so difficult to open that knot. They carry sword in their, not in their hands, sword in their mouth. <laughs> and with their words like sword, they cut the knot in the heart. It's painful, huh, to hear all that? <coughs> Cutting the knot in the heart. By their speech, by their words. And it's painful, but they are acting like mother. Nirma Saranam Satam. That was your personality, Sri Bhakti Rantri Krambhusai Maharaj. On other occasion, <coughs> couple of devotees, we were following Sri Bhakti Krambhusai Maharaj, <coughs> coming from Jamuna <coughs> and crossing Sri Radha Damodha Temple. And Sri Bhakti Rantri Krambhusai Maharaj, he just paid obeisances from outside. Just like took his head down, paying obeisances, and devotee said, Maharaj, let's go inside <coughs> to see Radha Damodha. He said, I don't want to go. But why? He said, because I'm seeing him from so many years, he don't speak. What is the use? If I go inside, he'll be the same, pers same personality, holding fruit and just standing there. He don't speak. So what is the use going inside? He saw all devotees got bewildered to hear this. Because we always we should go inside and have darshan. <laughs> but Tirka Maharaj is saying, no, we should I don't want to go because I don't speak. By seeing the expressions of devotees, then he said, I would better I I should go to Rup Sanatan Mart. To hear from Narayan Maharaj. Because he speak. But Damodar, he don't speak. <laughs> <laughs> Krishna and Damodar don't speak. But a pure devotee of Krishna, he always speak. If I have to learn something, or even if I have to see Damodar, I have to see through the ears by hearing from Narayan Maharaj. This is how Sri Trikra Maharaj said. <clears throat> and I heard Shri Bhakti Vigyan Bharati Gosai Maharaj once upon a time performing in Shetra Mandal Parikrama Jagannath Puritham Trikra Maharaj was there and Shri Bhakti Vigyan Bharati Gosai Maharaj she was also there and of course our Gurudev was here was there also so, Gurudev gave mic to Shri Trikram Gosai Maharaj and he said, <clears throat> I am doing this Parikrama for so many years. I have not attained or achieved anything. Teet <clears throat> Brahman um, means wandering in Teet is just like mental speculation. 
have not attained anything by performing parikrama for so many years. This is how he always used to <coughs> speak about himself. But when he's praising others, he's like ten mouths. But when he <coughs> introducing himself, this is a song. Amara Jivan Sadam Pape Rata. My life is full of sinful activities. I have not attained anything, I have not achieved anything. This is how he used to present himself. And Shri Bhakti Vigyan Bharti Gosai Maharaj was there. He said, I want to give answer to Maharaj's presentation. And when the mic was given to him, Shri Bhakti Vigyan Bharti Gosai Maharaj said, Since Trikura Maharaj is saying, you have not attained or achieved anything by performing Parikrama for so many years, this shows his higher position. This shows <coughs> he is always in higher association. Because this is the result of higher association that makes one feel always lowly. This is the result of higher association. Understand? It makes you feel you're humble, you're low, you don't know anything. When there is no high association, you always feel, oh, no one knows better than me. <laughs> but in higher association, one always feel very low. So Srila Trikrama is saying this, that means he's always in higher association. So how Shri Bharti Gosai Maharaj, he praised Shri Trikrama Gosai Maharaj for his presentation. And if we see, this is our Guru Parampara, starting from Sri Marvinda Puri. Sri Marvinda Puri Pai, the first sprout of Prem, we heard from Guru Dei. Only three personalities can relish or taste that higher mood. Sri Radharani, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Marvinda Puri Pai. Our Guru Parampara starts from Sri Although it's Madhva line, but from Sri Madhvanda Puripal. And how Sri Madhvanda Puripal, when he was manifesting his sickness last time, he was crying and weeping and lamenting. And what he was saying? Aye Deen Dyaard Nath He Mathra Nath Kada Valoka Shri Hidyam Tav Alok Katram Daita Brahmati Kim Karome Ham Oh, my Deen Dyaard Nath He Oh my Nath, Oh my Lord He Mathra Nath, Oh the Lord of Mathra I am not able to see you I am not having your darshan I can't see you. My heart bursts to tears. I can't see you. What shall I do? Kim karo me hum. Kim karo me hum. Kim karo me hum. What shall I do? What shall I do? What shall I do? And this word kim karo me hum means king kari bhav. Means dasi bhav. Manjari bhav. Because manjari is always Wondering, what shall I do next? What shall I do next? What shall I do next? But always and always serving divine couple. Kim karo me ham. So how she Madhavadu Paripad <coughs> lamented. Oh Matranath, I cannot see you. Is that true? One who is along with Radharani and Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, one who is relishing that high mood. But in lamentation, he is saying, I can't see. So, this is how our Guru Parampara starts from Sri Mahavanda Puripad, lamenting and weeping, showing scarcity. And following in the same line, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who is always relishing the joyous modes of Radha's Anurana. Sri Mahaprabhu, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu keeps relishing the joyous moods of Sri Radha Sanurag. Radhika Nurag Vancha Jekare 
देवादिदेव गौरचंद्र गौरीदास श्री महाप्रभु हुस ऑलवेज इन वर्ड्स एंड हेल्प सॉफ्ट इन दैट मूड एंड रिलेशन द मूड्स ऑफ राधा रानी एंड समटाइम ही जॉइंस द ओपन एज यू हैव ह्यूज फॉर्म एंड समटाइम ही बिकम्स लाइक अ टॉटर्स ऑल दिस लिम्स गोस बैक इन हिज बॉडी बट श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु इन द मूड ऑफ राधा रानी कृष्ण इन द मूड ऑफ राधा रानी सेम ना प्रेम गंधो अस्ति दुरापे में हर आई हैव नॉट अ टिंज ऑफ प्रेम इन मी कैन यू बिलीव इट आई हैव नॉट अ टिंज ऑफ प्रेम इन मी एंड मां प्रभु इस प्रेम को शोधता इस एम्बॉडीमेंट ऑफ प्रेम बट इन दैट मूड ऑफ स्केसिटी नॉट दैट ही इज इन स्केसिटी एनी अभाव But in that mood, he said, "I have no prem in me, no prem in me." And following Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Sri Rup Goswami, who is Priya Sarupe, Daita Sarupe, Prem Sarupe, Sahab Jyoti, who is the embodiment of the Rup of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, and Rup Mandiri being the manifestation of the form of Sri Radha Rani. वर्षी चतने माँ वर्षी रूपों में जरी से रूपों को स्वामी से इन दिस भजन कृष्णा देव भवन कमवंदे मनमान समारुकरम रफायन दीजपदम पंकजा मकरंदे कृष्णा देव भवन कमवंदे आई वोट इन लाइटिंग दे भक्ति बिगनिंग He is the one who got empowered by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu at Prayag, and Mahaprabhu said, "I am, I am making you drink one drop of that nectar of that bhakti ras, and with one drop of that, Sri Rupa Goswami is writing Sindhu, ocean of bhakti ras. In the beginning words, he is addressing himself as Varak Rupopi, Hidi Yasya Prerna." प्रवर्तित हम वराक रूप वराक मोस्ट अन इंटेलिजेंट पर्सन इज इट ट्रू बट सरस्वती देवी द गॉड इज ऑफ लर्निंग स्पीच सॉरी शी कैंट टॉलरेट दिस रूप गोस्वामी राइटिंग अबाउट हिम सॉफ इन दैट सो हाउ शी टूक द वर्ड्स ऑफ रूप गोस्वामी वराक मीन्स वन हू कैन डिस्क्राइब in beautiful ornament words the glories of the topmost personality is known by the name varak this is how sanskrit is you can use word sanskrit word with so many uh, so many terminology this is our parampara how shri marbandu paripad is lamenting mahaprabhu is lamenting and sanatan goswami is he sanatan goswami Sanatan Goswami, to whom Mahaprabhu address, your body is not your property. This is my property. How can you destroy my property? When Sanatan Goswami Pal wants to give up his body, in Chetan Chetami we see this. And Mahaprabhu said, How can you think of destroying my property? This is my property. How dear Sanatan Goswami to Sri Chetan Mahaprabhu. But 
सनातन को स्वामी पार राइटिंग ना प्रेम शवनादि भक्ति अपि व योग कथा वैष्णव ज्ञानम व शुभ कर्म व क्यों अपि सज अस्ति जाति वा हीनार्थी का साधके तो ये अच्छे द मूल सती हे गोपीजन वल्लभ व्यथते हाहा मर्दी शोमा ना प्रेम शवनादि भक्ति इसे he wrote one verse where he is saying, I don't have prema. I don't have prema bhakti. I'm not even performing Namvida bhakti, the nine things of bhakti. I've not done any pious deed in my life. No? Who's going to take care of me? But I have one hope. Hey Gopijan Vallabh. Oh, the beloved of the gopis, Krishna, I have this belief. You always take care of your devotees. Only with that hope. <coughs> yeah. I'm surviving only with that hope. Is it true, Sanatana Goswami? Saying, I have no prem, I'm not even performing handlings of bhakti. I've not done any pious deed in my life. I'm not even highly born. What is this? Lamenting in separation. Lamentation always comes in separation. Lamentation never comes in union. And this is same with Radha Rani. She also used to say, Na prem gando asti dhrapa me haro. I have no prem for Krishna. Lamenting. Feeling some scarcity. And this comes with higher association. This is a result of higher association makes you feel humble. If there is no higher association, one feels very strong, high-headed. But the moment we, got higher, we get higher association, immediately repentance and humility comes. That's the result of the association. Following this line, Rupa Nuga Guru Vargas, we see Narottam Thakur in all this bhajan. Hmm. He's lamenting in all those bhajans. He's not saying, I have achieved that. He's writing, I have not achieved that. And he's praying for association. Ramachandra Sangha Mage Narottam Das. Kave Krishna Dhanapavo. Oh, when I will get Krishna, the wealth of Krishna, uh, the brain. Cross question, Narottam Thakur. When you were a small child, you got pain. No? Padma River, you know this? Yes, everyone knows this. How Mahaprabhu assigned Padma River, whenever this boy Narottam will come and take bath, you will assign this pain to Narottam. And after 250 years, some like that many years later, after Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, this boy Narottam Thakur, he took bath in that river and he already got infused with pain. And he's writing, Kavi Krishna Dhal Pavo. When, when will I attain Krishna pain? Lamentation. That's the symptom of lamenting. When Krishna disappeared from Rasalila, Radharani lamentation is calling out. Hanat Raman Prishta Kwasi Kwasi Mahabhuja Dasyas Te Karpane Me Sakhe Darsham Sanedi Hanat, oh my Nath, oh my Lord, Raman Prishta, where are you? Oh my beloved. Oh my Lord, where are you? Daste se karpanne me. I am your maid servant. Please extend your darshan to me. I am your maid servant. Radharani can only speak this word in separation. In union she will not say this. I am your maid servant. <laughs> in union she extends her feet. Can you massage me? There is a different mode in union. In separation is totally different mood. In separation is lamentation. All these verses from 
all these acharyas, they are feeling intense separation. And in that intense separation, they are feeling lamentation. And in the lamentation, naturally, it's not showing off, naturally, this mood of scarcity, a mood of uh, longing comes out. That I have not attained, I have not attained. Our sampradaya, <coughs> the beauty of our sampradaya is not we have attained. The beauty of our sampradaya is we have not attained. Mm -hmm. Read the songs of Bhakti Nath Thakur, songs of Lochan Thakur. Chanchala Jeevana Trotra Pravaiya Kale Rasa Garida Gela Je Divasa Nayasi Beara Ebe Krishna Ki Upa Nortam Thakur, Bhakti Thakur. These bhajans, they are not saying we attained. Maybe some bhajans, but most of the bhajans, we have not achieved, we have not attained. We want to get this. And in, in the same Guru, Rupanuga Guru Parampara, ah, Krishna Das Kaviraya Goswami. How? How he is addressing himself? Yes. Jagai madai hai te mui se papisht. Puri se kit hai se mui se lagisht. Mor naam sune je taar punye khai. Mor naam le je taar paap hai. Eman nirghan more keva kripa kare. Ek niktan vina jagat vitar. Chaitanya Chaitamit, Krishnadas Kaviraj Goswami, who wrote Govind in Amrit, who wrote Chaitanya Chaitamit, what he is giving his identity as, I am more sinful than Jagai and Madai. I am more lowly than warm in a stool. Whoever hears my name, all his pious deeds goes in vain. Whoever utters my name, incurs sinful reactions. I am so lowly. Eman nirghan more keva kripa kore. But I have only one hope. Nirtanan Prabhu is my everything. You know, how she wrote them? Kaviraj Goswami. And then, Shila Bhaktiya Thakur. Lalita Sakira Ayogya Kinkari Vinod Dhariche Pai. I am the Unqualified maid servant of Lalita Sati. If someone asks us, Who are you? Oh, I serve my Gurudev so much. I was very qualified. I am very qualified to serve him. And when he was present, I served him so many ways because I was qualified. When Bhaktiya Thakur is saying, Ayogya Kinkari, unqualified. Made servant of Radha, Lalita Sakhi. Lalita Sakira, Ayogya Kinkari. This is how they get signed, their signature. Hmm. So you see, this is Bhagavad Guru Parampara. So when Sri Trikram Gosai Maharaj has started from there, in that total Gopina temple, the Jagannath Puri, he is saying that I have not attained anything after doing Parikrama throughout my life. I have not achieved and attained anything. How many years Trikram Goswami Maharaj would have been doing Parikramas? Can you imagine? Throughout his life. <coughs> Srila Gurudev said, <coughs> I did Braj Mandal Parikrama almost how many? 65 times. Shila Gurudev used to go with Param Gurudev. Shila Vaman Gosai Maharaj, Shutrikra Gosai Maharaj, and Shila Gurudev. 
and all other sannyasis and brahmacharis, disciples of Param Guru Dev. Hmm. They, doing, they used to go all Tirthas in India. If you read Sri Chaitanya Shetamir, how Sri Nityanand Prabhu, you see the account, how Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Nityan Prabhu, they visiting all these holy places. Even South India, Sri Rangam, who is, she, who is at Sri Rangam? Sri Vishnu. Hmm. And not only visiting those Tirthas, Param Guru Dev, Sri Bhakti Pragyan Kesha Goswami Maharaj, he used to perform, he used to observe Urja Vrat, Kartik Vrat. <laughs> Can you imagine? Kartik Vrat in, in those Tirthas. In Ayodhya, Param Guru Dev used to observe Kartik Vrat in Ayodhya. The board of Lord Ram in Namishrani. Also Shirangam. Also Rameshwaram. Also Dwarka. Param Guru Dev. And if Param Guru Dev is there in Dwarka <coughs> or Shirangam, Ayodhya, then Shila Guru Dev also, also there. In Trikram Goswami Maharaj, he gave an account in Gaudiya Patrika in those days. And he signed his name not as Trikrama because he was not sannyasi at that time, he was Brahmachari. Can you imagine how many years back? He wrote his signature, Sri Radhanath Brahmachari. Param Guru Dev used to observe Parikrama, Kartik Parikrama in Dwarika. Can we think Dwarka is less? If Shri Guru Dev or Shri Guru Dev, <coughs> he used to take so many devotees, and there's an account I uh, saw. I was reading 250 devotees observing Kartik Parikrama in Ayodhya, the abode of Lord Ram. So is Ayodhya superior than Dwarka? We see the the map of Brahman, what we see there? Saket Dham, the abode of Lord Ram, and then Golok Vrindavan. So when we say Golok, then Golok comprise of Mathura, Dwarka, and Vrindavan. That's Golok. So the abode of Krishna is superior or the abode of Ram is superior? Why Sri Gurudev? And Paramurde used to take all these devotees to Dham Parikramas, to Ayodhya, Nemishrane, Haridwar, Pushkar. Pushkar. Pushkar is the place, the place of Brahma. The only one temple in the entire world, the temple of Brahma. One, only Pushkar. What is the need? To go Brahma? See Brahma? Hmm. And if you say, what is the need to go to Arka? Mahaprabhu, be in all these places. Even Minakshi temple, this Lakshmi temple in South India, Mahaprabhu, you dance there. You read in Chaitanya Chaitanya. People, they don't read and they just conclude something. Read Chaitanya Chaitamit. Mahaprabhu, Nityam Prabhu visiting all these holy places. Haridwar, Nemishrane, Pushkar, Dwarka, all these places. Why are they going there? Hmm? And not only visiting, Param Guru Dev observing Kartik Parikrama there. Shri Trikram Goswami Maharaj. Was time now to uh, you see, Shatrikram Goswami Maharaj is writing this article and is writing Shirada Nath Das Adhikari. He was a Prasta before, and he wrote 
in that article she gorya patrika she dwarka parikrama and urjavrat means kartika and is giving account during the last kartik month the founder acharya and chairperson means the president of gorya vedan samiti parivraj ka acharya shri bhakti pragyan keshav gosain maharaj has organized a spiritual trip to shri dwarka dham and thus provided people across the country an opportunity to perform dham parikrama and receive the darshan of various distinct holy places present there eventually 250 pious noble minded people both males and females have earned their eternal auspiciousness by becoming a part of this trip shri kumar ji right the speciality of this dwarka parikrama was that a beautiful procession had been organized and mahaprabhu himself in the form of a worshipable deity was enthroned on a nicely decorated palanquin all the sanyasis and brahmacharis of the committee were personally carrying the palanquin the beautiful arrangement enchanted the mind of everyone present there all the parikrama devotees followed the palanquin while loudly performing hari naam sankirtan accompanied by mridanga kartal bells gong and various colorful flags all the pilgrims all the pilgrims reach then he is giving the names of all those darshans in dwarka reach port bandar on time at the present times sudama puri you know the place where sudama used to live is known as port bandar this place Sudama Puri had gotten its name from Krishna's Brahman friend Shri Sudama. In the temple we find an uncommon darshan where Brahman Sudama is sitting on the throne and Dwarka Dheesh is serving his lotus feet. The saintly devotees experience great ecstasy with witnessing such unparalleled love of the Lord for his devotee. Here in the temple hall among the speakers and scholarly preachers of the committee shri pad narottanand brahmachari shri bhakti kamal prabhu delivered a speech in hindi language describing the speciality in the preaching of god yavashnavas in the line of shri chaitanya mahaprabhu so uh, and then <clears throat> Dwarka is located 16 miles away from Sudama Puri. On the way from Mathura to Dwarka, there is a place where Lord Krishna took rest. In that place, there is a temple in which Shivalinga is present at the lotus feet of Lord Dwarka Nath. Admiring this darshan, the saintly people who are established in the philosophical conclusions became extremely joyful. The temple residents warmly welcome our committee president, Mr. Paramguru Dev, with sandalwood paste, a flower garland, and prasad. Mm. On a 24 long sea journey, devotees, while hailing Shrimad Bhagwat with great pleasure, reach Bait Dwarka on the next day. So, when we have the main temple Dwarka Darshan, and then uh, devotees, <coughs> they go. was portion the steamer and had a big dwarka so kripramar is writing then we all went to see bait dwarka the other side of the island is called bait due to being surrounded by sea from all four sides this dwarka is known as bait dwarka during their stay here for some days the pilgrims took advantage of having darshan of shri dwarka dheesh and many other deities and holy places like shank kund etc after reaching shri dwarka dish temple the servants of the temple were diligently provided everyone with the opportunity to get darshan the temple servants showed their respect and dignity towards the sanyasis and the sanyas strident by laying the offer garland around the neck and on the trident of the maharaj who was managing the whole parikrama After having crossed six miles of sea from Bait, the pilgrim attained the good fortune to receive darshan of Gopi Tala, 
which is renowned place where gopis stayed when they came to take shri krishna back to vrindavan <laughs> if we say what is the need to go to dwarka that's not the mood of gurudev <laughs> then why param gurudev and gurudev and trikramaraj they are doing kartik parikrama in dwarka and for the information this tilak which we put gopi chandan this is from we keeping the dust of dwarka every day on our forehead trikramaraj is writing because today is his appearance day so uh, after having also what is saying gopi tala which is renowned place where the gopi stayed when they came to take shri krishna back to vrindavan so gopi went to dwarka gopi tala is very prominent place for gaudiya vaishnavas that's why all the devotees collect the food dust of the gopis from this place from here the parikrama party left for gomati dwarka some other part the devotees reach gomati dwarka in due time then following the palanquin of ma prabhu carried by the community sanyasis and brahmacharis the devotees reach the dwarka dish temple while being immersed in sankirtan as soon as the palanquin of mahaprabhu arrived at shri dwarka dish temple the servants of the temple worship mahaprabhu with great garlands of flowers hmm. so in this after seeing the strong propaganda of gaudiya vedan samiti and receiving the darshan of the worshipable deity of mahaprabhu their whole conception got completely changed parikrama pilgrimage worship and circumambulate shri dwarka dish after this they took a sacred bath in the holy gomati river and they experienced great bliss hmm. and this is how is writing we we stayed there for few days and the what is overjoyed with having gotten the opportunity to receive darshan of lord dwarka dish in amendments in this way the whole month went by in association of devotees after hearing hari katha and kirtan all the pilgrims eventually returned to <coughs> calcutta second november and went back to their went back to their respective place from there shirada nath das adhikari co editor <laughs> on this auspicious day of shitri kram goswami maharaj is memories you know so we can understand how shitri kram maharaj after doing parikrama for so many years but lamenting he saying oh i have not attained anything i have not achieved anything you know why param guru dev was taking devotees to all these places throughout india following the footsteps of shri nitanand prabhu chetana shitamit his account by krishna kaviraj goswami nitya prabhu being all these places and had darshan mahaprabhu being all these places and just now we heard gopi tala we put this gopi chandan this comes from dwarka no this comes from dwarka so gopis they also been to dwarka and that's why this their food dust is this gopi chandan if we go there we get a big rocks of this gopi chandan directly from that pond <coughs> so all the devotees whenever they go dwarka they take bath in that pond to get the food dust of the gopis if we say what is the use going there for preaching purpose one can go russia one can go china one can go america one can go switzerland one can go europe many other countries right 
if we for preaching if we go if we can go all these places then what is the fault going into our head? that's the word of Krishna yeah. people go for side scenes people go for you know staying by the beach seeing mountains trees etc oh but we should not go to Dwarka you can go everywhere else but not Dwarka what's wrong So surprising. Gurudev is so many places like that. Even in Mathura, in Kartik Parikrama, when you, Gurudev used to perform Rajmandal Parikrama, before Kartik starts, Gurudev used to do this 7 to 10 days Mathura Parikrama. So then why we have to do Mathura Parikrama then? Matra is not in Braj. Matra mood is totally different, it's hopeless mood. Matra is the place of Kupcha. So are we going to do Matra Parikma to get blessings of Kupcha? <laughs> Try and understand. With very mature level. As I said, we are not even sadhakas. We are not even practicing nicely. We are beggars. We need the mercy of everyone. Even though our aim and goal, aim and object is Gopi, to become the maid servant of Radharani. But to become that, remember Gurudev used to say in Mathura temple, in Mathura Keshavji Gaudiyamat, everyone go and have darshan of Mathura. And there's very beautiful uh, Vara temple. Vara Dev temple in Mathura, right? Adi Vara, Shwetvara. So tell me, is Vara Dev superior than Dwarakadish Krishna? Vara is Vara is avatar, incarnation of Krishna. So who's superior? Vara Dev or Dwarakadish? Gurda used to send devotees, go and have darshan of Dwarkadish in Mathura. In Mathura there is Dwarkadish temple. But why we have to go there? To ask blessings. We can serve Hari Guru Vaishnavas. Gurda used to say, go and tell Dwarkadish. Please allow me to become the maid servant of Radharani. Give me your mercy and blessings. We have to be very mature in understanding this. Just like very rustic book, Geet Govinda, written by Sri Chaitanya Goswami. Oh goodness, if you read that book, it's all Madhuri Ras, Radharani's intimate pastimes with Krishna. Modest pastimes, conjugal pastimes. Then why Chaitanya Goswami introduced Darshavata in the beginning invocation? of Gita Govinda, Matse, Kurma, Varaha, Narshinga, Parshuram, all this, Kalki, Buddha, Keshava Dhrita, Buddha Sharira, Keshava Dhrita, Kalki Sharira, Jai Jai Deva Hare, why? Jai Deva Goswami being Poet in Madhuri Ras describing the intimate pastime of Radha Krishna. What is the need of chanting this Dashavatar Stotram? Understand this. To understand this. We are beggars. We go all these places. We are Nitta Prabhu men. To seek the blessings. To get our aim and object. Radha Dasim. In regard to this, Gurudev used to speak one past time. There used to be one sadhu in Vrindavan, in Braj, at Radha Kuna. One pointed devotion to Radha Rani. And every night he was having darshan of Radha in his dream, every night. And he was told by his friend, let's go to Dwarka. You know, Gurudev used to tell the story in Mathura. 
Can you say, okay, let's go here? <clears throat> I remember this past time they used to tell. But Radharani in the dream told, no, don't go Dwarka. That's not my case. So he thought that dream is just like something ordinary. And he went to Dwarka. When he went to Dwarka, in those days there was a trend of like nowadays we have tattoos. There used to be stamps of Chakra, Shankha. But Gurudev said, important point, Radharani, uh, exact words of Gurudev was that you can go Dwarka but don't get stamped there. <laughs> it's not that Radharani said don't go Dwarka. She said, if you go in Dwarka but be careful, don't get stamped. If you get stamped there, means those tattoos, mm -hmm. even now, they, the people, they get this then I'll be not happy with this. That was an important point. Brother, I didn't tell you go to Dwarka. No, don't go to Dwarka, but don't get stamped, because then you get stamp of Rukmani. <laughs> when he returned back after Dwarka, when he came back to Braj, he was not having Radharani Darshan anymore. And in lamentation and separation, he's crying and weeping, crying and weeping. Oh Radhe, oh Radhe, oh Radhe. But then he was being told by the Sadhu, why you got this stamp? That's the full story. So that doesn't mean we have to go, we don't have to go there and have darshan. Gopis went there, why they went there? And the Gopi Tala, where we get this uh, rocks of putting Gopi Chandan on forehead. Important is, when we go there, we don't have to follow the mood of Dwaraka. And we don't have to get stamp <laughs> of those chakra and those tattoos. That's the important point. That was a full story. And this was for that personality who was perfect Siddha. Who was having dreams of Radharani every night. And they sing the conjugal pastimes of Radha Krishna. And what we having dreams? We having dreams of Radharani? Ever? Huh? One time? <laughs> No? Oh God. <laughs> Not one time dream of Radharani. Oh. What we are dreaming? All this crazy stuff. So which place is superior? Hawaii? California? Florida? Badger. <laughs> Switzerland, London, or Dwarka, amongst all these. We can go all these places, oh, but we should not go to Dwarka. <laughs> what is that? Shitrikar Goswami Maharaj is giving what can be more evidence than this that he was with Param Gurudev and observed Karthik Parikrama there and give all details with. We took a train, then we took a steamer, we took bath there in Gopi Tala and all this details. You have to understand the mood with mature level. That's the point. So on this very auspicious day, appearance of Shri Goswami Maharaj, humbly beg at his lotus feet. Please give us that maturity level to understand the words of Shastra, the words of Sadhana. This we need very much. There is so much immaturity level, phonetic level. I remember by saying this years back, like 90, no, 2002, Vishila Gurudev in Jagannath Puridham Parikrama, one newly joined couple. Newly joined couple, very fond of Gurudev Harikatha, and you know our Gurudev style always speaking about Gopi Bhav, Radha Rani, glories and all. And Gurudev announced after morning class, he announced, So today our Parikrama will go to the Samadhi of Sri Haridas Thakur. You see? And everyone said, Jai, Jai. 
And this couple, I know them, they were whispering to each other, I said, why we have to go Haridas Thakur? He is in Shant Rasa. We only have to go to those who are in Kopi Bhar. So shall we go to Haridas Thakur or not? Yes. But this couple, immature, because beginners, in so immature level, that Haridas Thakur, for whom Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu declared that anyone who participated in the Samadhi ceremony of Haridas, I announce, they all get Krishna Prem. Anyone. All Acharyas, Prabhupada Bhakti Siddhanta Swasit Thakur, all Acharyas, they beg to Sri Haridas Thakur to get taste in Haridas. And this couple, husband, wife, they say, why do we have to go Haridas Thakur? He is not in Madhuridas. He is in Shantras. We only have to go to those who are in Madhuridas. What we can say to this couple? Very mature? Foolish. When later Gurudev heard this, he was so angry. He was so angry. Just like Vikram Maharaj, we just heard now. Oh, you are a gopi bhav, gopi bhav, gopi bhav. What is your status? Are you chanting like gopis all day and night? You thinking of Krishna all day and night? You having dreams of Krishna every day? And I am saying Krishna died and you are laughing. Ha ha ha. Is this is the attachment? And you are thinking madure bhav, gopi bhav, oh Radha Rani this and that. Be in your senses. Be in your qualification. You are not even sadhaka. Trikramara used to say this. It was very blunt, right on the face. You are not even sadhaka. Where is the restlessness in your sadhana? Just chanting little something, maybe 32 rounds or 64 rounds, and you think you are sadhaka. What is your attachment to your guru? What is your contribution in the guru parampara? What have you learned so far? This is how Trikra Maharaj was very strong, cutting the knots in the heart. That's why devotee used to get terrified, <laughs> coming close to him. Oh, very scared. Gaur Primanandi, Mulash Murak Tudam Trikra Gosai Maharaj Ki, Tari Avibhav Ki Mahamo Sav Ki, Tari Gaur so evening five o'clock we we'll start with it for Shirabhul Dev's glorification. This week is through this week. Shiva <laughs> Request and proposal depends on devotees here in community. Just a thought came in my mind. I came from Mangalati this morning and I was adoring the beauty. I was trying to adore the beauty of Radha Govind Bhadi and I expressed a desire to devotees in the Mangalati. Saturday we are observing Srila Guru Dev's uh, appearance day and it will be a very busy day on morning and evening. Sunday is kind of free. But I don't want to get free. I want to do some other festival on Sunday, if everyone agrees and it's possible. We want I want to do with all of us together Maha Maha Abhishek of Mahaprabhu Nara Govinde. Five ingredients. Milk, yogurt, ghee, honey. If anything required, I will contribute in that. But I really want to have Maha Abhishek for you know, seeking the mercy of Mahaprabhu Radha Govinda for what reason? Shri Guru Charani Rati. So that we can develop the attachment, the lotus feet of our Shri Guru Dev. And because Sunday everyone is free, we can observe this festival, Mahavishay called Radha Govinda. Right? Mm -hmm. If Hare you all us agree, then we can. Yes. 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 Thank you. I just want to make sure I understand because I'm very dull. Uh, 
when we go to these places like Dwarka and uh, other places, we go there to pray for our aspiration. Is that what you're saying? You go there? Yes. To attain that Braj Bhav, we have to go all these places, back there, all these personalities, all holy rivers. In India, you know, every hundred, every fifty mile is a Tirtha. This is how for all the charities, Bhakti Siddhan Sosi Thakur Prabhupada, Bhakti Mohan Thakur, Param Guru Dev, Shilla Guru Dev, Shatrikram Goswami Maharaj, Bhakti Vidyan Bharti Goswami Maharaj, he used to tell us so many stories. He used to go with his all our acharyas, means disciples of Bhakti Siddhan Prabhupada. We go there and beg, please give us attachment so that we can attain Braj Bhav, the Gopi. This should be our aim and object. And also, I heard, correct me if I'm wrong, that um, Mokadish, who is Mokadish, is always feeling separation from Raj. Exactly, that was, that was in my mind. Because Dwarkadish Krishna is always in mood of separation from Raj and Radharani. So, this is again a very big topic. I need time to elaborate on this some other day. Because Ujari is waiting for art. <laughs> we are going to have to spend it anymore. Also for spending, yes. I have a tiny yes. question. Yes, Mataji. Um, when you were telling these Leelas about how Srila Chaudhya Maharaj told about Param Guru Dev and our Srila Guru Dev and our Acharyas would go there to Dwarkadish. And so, so many devotees would go with them. So, we've always had this. Um, mood in our heart that wherever Guru Day would go, then we certainly would go. Because wherever Guru Day go, there's Manjuri mood coming. So my question is, when you tell this Leela, so many devotees may think, oh, we should go now to Dwarkadish. But my question is, is it, is it important to go to Dwarkadish now? Or should we always go under the guidance of a Rasik Vaishnava? Yes, always under guidance. <clears throat> and that's why there are articles how Gurudev is teaching and explaining to us. We should go and back there. Krishna is in need. Like how Braj, how Braj Gopis, they went to Kurukshetra. Why they went to Kurukshetra? To bring Krishna back to Raj. And Srila Bhakti Thakur said, there's that is the place where I want to serve Radharani most because she is in most need. She is in the most need there. I want to serve there. Similarly, we go there and like uh, the concept of Ratyatra bringing Krishna from Dwarka to Vrindavan. So there Krishna is a mood of separation. And by chanting Radhe Radhe and glories of Radharani you can, and Prajubhav, he feels so delighted. So we are going to serve Krishna there by Harikatha and Kirtan and making him hear the name of Radharani in the past times of Vraj. Uh, That's why he became the Jagannath. Krishna in Dwarka, he heard the past times of Brajvandal, right? Rauni Maya speaking the past times of Braj. And what happened to Krishna? He became Jagannath. And what is a form? Is that form is not a distorted form of Krishna. That's like a blissful form of Krishna. Dilated eyes, arms and feet went inside the body. That's a joyous move, form of Krishna, hearing his all Braj pastimes. So when Gaudiya Vaishnava goes there, they all speak about Radharani. They all speak about Braj pastimes, which makes Krishna so delight. And when Krishna will be happy, what will happen? Shower of mercy, you came to, ah, you remind me of my bread past times. That's the mood. So it's the, actually the mood which is more important. Go here to the Pushpandali. Some other time we'll elaborate on this. Go to the
juice. I'm always dropping glasses. <laughs>
section.